Hello, my name is Martin Shackshaft. I was on the Doc Fott course from 1983 to 1985. It's a time I remember with great fondness. I was very active in left politics and wanted a course that would combine this interest with my other passion, photography. I'd read about the documentary course at Newport, an amateur photographer, I think. I knew the competition for places was high, so I didn't really think I'd got much of a chance of getting in. Adopting the attitude that I had nothing to lose, I applied and was surprised to get an interview. I remember getting on the train to Newport with my portfolio of prints. I seem to remember my interview was with David Hearn, Clive Langdon and Ron McCormick. Everything seemed to be going well until Ron decided to challenge me about my reasons for taking pictures. Being nervous, I rode the questions for a while, but then snapped. I was very passionate about things in those days and didn't think this guy had any right to question my motivations for taking pictures. My perception was that things went downhill from that point. When I left, I was absolutely seething. Travelling back on the train to the Midlands, I was convinced I'd blown it. Later that evening, I got a phone call from David offering me a place. I was overjoyed and a little surprised. I later asked him about the interview and the philosophy behind the course. He said, we were looking for people that have something to say. You can teach anybody to take images, but if they don't have anything to say, what's the point? The way the course was run was perfect for me. We would go into the college at about nine and go out and shoot pictures on a set theme. Ex-students will remember man at work, relationships, establishing shot, three picture story. We then go back to develop the film, create a contact sheet and have a crit. Then one of the staff would scribble all over the contact sheet, suggesting different approaches. You would then go back out and try it again until you got it right. I think my record for shoots and crits in a day was three. It was an approach that couldn't fail. You learnt by doing. My only real hiccup was on the first day. We started the course with a project called Man at Work. I wandered the streets for hours, not really having the courage to ask anyone if I could photograph them. I was so angry with myself. I began to wonder if I'd made the right decision. If I couldn't do this simple task, should I really be there? Finally asked a guy changing tires if I could photograph him. Thinking he would say, get lost, he replied, of course, I've been photographed loads of times by those dock fotters. My time at Newport coincided with the start of the year-long miners' strike, which developed into an important body of work for me. There are so many people I feel indebted to. David Hearn, Daniel Meadows, Clive Langdon, Sue Packer, and yes, even Ron McCormick. I was also lucky to have some very enthusiastic students on the course with me at the same time. Paul Rees, Steve Malls, Dave Williams, Richard Baker, and Dennis Lewis. The guest lecturer list read like a who's who of photography. I remember meeting Martin Parr, Paul Graham, Joseph Kadelka, Paul Hill, and John Benton Harris. They were great times, and it's something I'm very proud of being a part of. Being a photographer puts us in a very privileged position. For the past 25 years or so, I've seen news events firsthand, not having to rely on other people's interpretations. People have invited me into their homes to witness their lives. It's not an overstatement to say the course changed my life. I now combine freelance work with teaching. Later this year, I'll be running an MA in visual journalism and documentary photography at De Montford University. We have a fraction of the success that the Newport documentary course has had over the years. We're very fortunate. I see myself along with other ex-Newport students that are teaching as keeping the Newport method flame alive. Thanks.